Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Heikin, you're watching Stone Cold Coffee Crafts. And uh, today I have the first part of something you requested, so I hope you will like it. Um, my furry assistant Lola the Ragdoll Cat is currently taking a nap in second human's bed. Or we like to call him the inferior one. Yeah, we are a mean household of three women and one poor guy. So today I have the first of four planned videos to show you what's in my stash. And right up front, if you do not like Diamond Art Club, at least the first three of this series are not going to be a video for you. I have pulled out all my Diamond Art Club, all my Diamond Shop and... Um, how many did I have? 43, I think. Still having back issues, so please excuse. 44. 44 you have more or less seen before, either on my Instagram or on my YouTube channel, except for two of them, I think. And I have three more on top of that, but they are not going to be included in this series because I still have the unboxings to release. I talked about this in one of my daily crafty chats. I have a few unboxings that are filmed towards the beginning of the year and I'm holding them back as my rainy day videos um, for those occasions when I, for whatever reason, can't do whatever I had planned. So these three I'm not going to show you because I don't want to spoil the unboxing videos whenever they are going to happen, no idea. But I've decided to split the Diamond Art Club um, canvases in three videos and dividing them up between the three videos and then do the last one with the Diamond Shop canvases. These four videos do not mean that I do not like other shops that have licensed artist paintings. It just means I have not gotten around to getting them yet. Or in case of Treasure Studios Art, I just don't have any more unfinished canvases in my um, stash. And I've not gone back and bought more. I don't plan to do anytime soon because um, the number 44 should have told you I have way more than I can do in a couple of years at the pace I'm currently going. So I am very, very much dialing back the, the, the buying of diamond paintings at the moment. So long story long, I am going to show you for each um, painting the canvas. Um, I'm not going to go through the drills. As I said, for most of these, um, there are unboxings on my channel. There is a playlist you can go to and see all the unboxings I have done. And in case you're wondering, I am not going to do any type of what's in my stash for any painting um, where I don't 100% know the licensing status, status of the art artwork. That's why you're only going to see Diamond Art Club and Diamond Shop at this point. There are a few canvases from AliExpress where I am still unsure about the origin of the picture in the painting, if it's actually um, okay to use them or not, but that's how it is right now. Okay, as I've mentioned, I'm still dealing with my back issues, so what um, this video is going to do is having a lot of jump cuts. I'm going to take a lot of breaks. I have to alternate between sitting, um, standing and walking around and sometimes even lying down. So I'm not going to be able to do this in one go. Please don't, don't um, get confused about that because my videos usually don't do cuts. I am a lazy editor. This time around I have to be a non-lazy editor. Okay, I'm going in order of um, date of purchase for these. And that brings us to the first painting, which is Siamese Teas. And I hope this works because the tarpaulin is going to pull each other. That was not the smartest idea. So Siamese Teas is a Mandy Manzano painting, as you can probably see. It is a 55 by 102, so it's a pretty big one. And um, it has 36 colors with one AB, and the one AB in this painting is white. 
I am not particularly fond of um, the Siamese cats in the movie this is referring to because as you might know you probably know better than me um, it is a pretty <laughs> a pretty racist um, depicting of Asian people um, but I'm still a huge cat fan so these cats don't talk they don't sing stupid songs um, that's why I can cope with them and I think this is going to turn out pretty fantastic. It's one of the more darker paintings, which are usually not exactly my jam, but um, I trust Mandy. So with her, I will even do the 60% dark ones. <laughs> so this one is also one where I cannot so easily show you the, the complete thing. I've put my camera up um, higher this time but it's still a very, very big painting and doesn't even fit my ta table. But this, these are the two cats. They are pretty much exact mirror images of each other. Um, honestly, I think she, she has mirrored most of the painting period because also the, the floor, as you can see, is pretty much, it's not exactly mirrored, but, um, not like she made one side and then mirrored it over, but it's it's supposed to copy the other side pretty much. You can see it in the floor, you can see it in the cats, and you can also see it up here in this little fish bowl, because this is also exactly split in the middle, and on both sides you have this little... Yeah, what is this? <laughs> Red mistletoe? <laughs> I don't know, some kind of plant. Um, yeah, so this is officially my oldest licensed diamond painting I have currently in my stash. And I really want to do this very, very soon. So stay tuned. All right, so next on the list is Blue Zion, another Mendy Manzano. Um, this time it is a 55 by 55. Here's the box. It's a 55 by 55 round. Also, once again, with AB diamonds, uh, 38 colors, one AB. The AB is once again white. This is one of the paintings Diamond Art Cl Club cropped before they turned it in a diamond painting because the original painting by Mandy is um, is not square. You have a whole a whole other section down here, basically her body, more plants. Um, I guess they thought the most important thing is her face and really this is going to be gorgeous once it's done. I'm entirely not sure why I haven't done that yet. Um, but yeah, just FYI, if you are looking for this um, particular piece of artwork on Mandy's side, it's going to look a little different. There are multiple paintings where they did something similar, so sometimes you will have a bit of a hard time to find the original artwork. Um, there's another one coming up, I think, in video number two or three. I don't know, um, where they actually just took a tiny piece out of a huge painting and made this into a diamond painting. But this is, um, it has such beautiful colors. It, it is obviously a painting referring to Avatar, uh, a movie I quite frankly despise with every bone in my body. I've never understood what the great hype about this was. Yes, don't come for me, the 3D, I get it. I just don't care for 3D and the movie as such, the whole story was just so freaking beige. There was really nothing about this movie that that made me want to watch it ever again and I actually only barely finished it the first time I saw it. Thankfully not in cinema. So not my money, Mr. Cameron, not my money. But anyway, that's nor here nor there. The painting though I love very very much and like I said I'm entirely unsure why I haven't done that yet. I think uh, I just got two diamond art cup club crazy and mostly started the latest and greatest <laughs> that's probably the reason why
Next up. Next up is the one I think most people... No, this is off to Netherland. So, off to Neverland. Ugh, tarpaulin against tarpaulin. Yeah, that was a really stupid idea. Off to Neverland. Uh, another Manny Manzano. You will see a running theme in this video. There is pretty much all Diamond Art Club Manny Manzano and very little else. There is a little bit else. Um, Off to Neverland is a... 55 by 77, once again round with AB diamonds. So a lot of these paintings will be round because this is back in the days when a Diamond Art Club hadn't yet the square AB drills. So everything they, they wanted to have with AB drills was made into round diamond painting, um, which I personally don't mind. I prefer round, but a lot of you I know don't. So just a... Uh, Disclaimer, there will be more square paintings in the future videos. Um, this painting has 45 colors and once again, I think just one AB. In the beginning, they were um, pretty much always one AB per canvas. Um, the multiple AB came later. Actually, my uh, very first Mendy Manzano I did, which was I Miss You, had two and that was very odd. At the time I uh, bought this painting and did the paintings, they usually came with one. And I absolutely wanted to have this painting as my first Mini Manzano painting, but it was sold out back then. So I started with I Miss You and I did not regret it because I Miss You is up to this day um, one of my favorites I have completed by her. Nevertheless, um, Off to Neverland is a stunning, stunning beauty. It has a myriad of colors and is a really great representation of this whole stained glass thing that Mandy has going on. So I'm very, very much still in love with these. The next one is a stunner. Um, this was a painting when I first looked at the Diamond Art Club site and looked at Mandy Manzano's painting. This was one that jumped right away into my top three. The reason I waited pretty long to get it is because the first iteration they had of it, um, <laughs> it looked horrible. Whoever did the charting, I don't know what they did, but it was extremely pixelated. They pretty much put for every Diamond you can see now in the black lines they put four instead. So it was extreme it, it, it looked like like Tetris from from 1989. So it was really, really not what you would expect from a Diamond Art Club painting and from a Mandy Manzano painting. That is why I had to be patient for quite some time before I could buy lips like morphine. She is an absolute stunner. Um I don't even know where to begin with her because she has these stunning lips, of course, hence the name of the painting. She has this gorgeous red hair. She has the tattoos. Um, it is just... Mm. <laughs> and I was so sad when I saw the unboxing of Stitcherista at the time. She was the first one I saw unbox it. Um, and then I watched, and this was, I think, the first video ever, it was actually a live, um, of Mrs. Coffee I saw. It was the one where she received and unboxed this painting live. Um, I think, oh god, Alicia, I think you had less than 500 subscribers at that time. <laughs> so it's been a long, long time ago. Um, so these were the two unboxings I saw and I knew I had to wait for it because I did not want what those two got and unboxed, even though Alicia loves her, her slightly less pretty <laughs> lips like morphine. Um, I wanted this, so I'm t totally happy that they redid it and re-released it and it turned out so gorgeous. So this is actually now a square. It's a 52 by 70 centimeter square painting, no AB diamonds, because like I said, no square AB diamonds at that point in time. And she is pretty much, you could even use her, quite honestly, 
when you craft for Pride Month. Because if that woman isn't a rainbow, I think the only color that's not in here is purple and pink. But still, this is absolutely, absolutely rainbow to me. So yeah, I have no idea when, when I'm going to do her, but she is going to be amazing once she's done. It's a lot of color blocking, so if you are a fan of color blocking and multi-placers, um, this might be a painting for you, because this is really a lot of color blocking looking at it. You could use the heck out of your multi-placers. Yeah. So Rachel likes to call me an enabler, but I have a few diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club where I can say she enabled me. One of them was Friends of the Maiden, the one you just saw me finish, and another one is this one. World's Way, the lady in the bathtub. Again, Diamond Art Club, again, Mandy Manzano. And again, a pretty dark painting. It's it's really, really dark. So this is... <clears throat> this is a 73 by 55 round painting. And it has AB diamonds. In this case... I think they are light pink. And it has two AB diamonds. Um, this is one of the paintings I mentioned that in one of my recent videos. Come on, that back in the day when Diamond Art Club started with the AB Diamonds, they sometimes had AB Diamonds on top and at the bottom. So they were not always on top, even though the number was always below 150. So this is 121 and white is usually 141. So I am expecting this is either a very light purple, could be a lavender or light pink. I think it might be a light purple. I honestly can't remember at this point. And then it has 138, which is the light blue. Um, this is one I specifically got to put in my bathroom. And I still plan to do that whenever I get around to finishing this. I will be honest with you, the darkest paintings are usually the ones I avoid the longest. I'm not the biggest fan of, of all the dark colors, as you might know by now. Uh, so I have no idea when this is going to happen. I'm taking a sip of coffee. But if you would like to see this finished, Rachel has it finished. She has multiple women chats on this, I think. Um, at least lives where she worked on this. Um, she has a post review and I think she also filmed the framing. If I'm not completely mistaken. Just check her channel out. She has videos of this completed if you're interested in that. Okay, next one. Next one is a square painting. It is Tell Me Stories. Tell Me Stories. One of the more crazy ones where you have to look at it. And I'm really sorry for the glare. I don't know what to do about the lighting. Um, you have to really look at it and try to <laughs> to understand what the artist was trying to tell us with the fish and the piano keys and um, there's this flower sun thing and it's it's a really gorgeous painting and it is to give you the stats I'm sorry I'm moving so slow but like I said still an invalid so 52 by 71 centimeter, it's a square painting, so no AB diamonds and that at that point. But it has 42 colors and it is very colorful, very, very happy. Um, it looks pretty dark, but most of the background colors are actually these bright royal blues and slightly lighter blues, so the canvas looks a bit darker than it is. The only 939, for example, the darkest blue is here in the in the edge parts and up there as well in the edges. And there is a bit of um, 823, which is... 
which is here the darkest shadow stuff. But um, it's not as dark as it looks on first glance. I've seen that one finished as well. Uh, can't remember who did it, but I know I've seen it completed it on some diamond painting channel. There are just too many at this point to remember everything I saw. <laughs> well, I still remember I saw it, but just not where. Yeah, and that is um, one of my oldest square canvases. We are still in the middle of the canvases that have not made it to my channel. I started my channel after that. But if you're interested in some detailed pictures, check out my Instagram. Um, it's the beginning of 2019 where you should find most of these. So the next one is finally not a Mandy Manzano painting. Shocker, I know. <laughs> it is Wanderer by Jojo's Art. Ah, oh, come on. It's this little polar fox um, in the middle of the night. So loads and loads and loads of black. So much freaking black. <laughs> I am not looking forward to it. It's a bit like um, Nightbringer Light. Um, again, Rachel did a painting um, which is called Nightbringer, which is pretty much all black except for this tiny little buck in the middle and this tiny little deer <laughs> with a pretty big... Um, uh, what's the word? Thingy magic on his head. I think deers have male deers. Um, anyway, so um, this is the light version. It doesn't have so much black, but it's still a lot of dark colors in black. And it is an 80 by 55 centimeter round drill with AB diamonds. The AB in this one is 173, so this is, to my knowledge, again a blue, I believe. And I really thought that there was also white in there, so I guess whenever I am doing this, I'm going to put um, some of my leftover electric diamonds from, from Diamond Shop in the background, I think, as stars, because I like this effect on the Jeremiah Morelli. Um, and I have plenty of leftovers from those um, paintings I have done already because they give you a lot more than you need. Um, I think I'm going to sprinkle them in the background instead of the regular drills for stars. There's an idea. I really thought that was... Ouch. Yep, drop it and hit it against your leg, why don't you? I really thought it, it had white, AB. What does it? And is it, is it hidden in the middle somewhere? No. Interesting. So Jojo's art. I love him. I love his art. He does fantastic stuff. My only issue is that most of the time I feel like the diamond paintings are not doing his art a lot of justice. I think it's much prettier as a print. So that's why I don't have as many um, Jojo's art paintings as Mandy Manzano paintings. Um, because a lot of the time I look at the paintings and think, no, I would prefer this as an art print, quite honestly. So, yeah. But this one, I think, is going to be stunning as a diamond painting. Um, the fox is big enough that I like him just looking at the chart, so I'm, I'm going to expect that he's going to look quite stunning once done. Um, and in case you didn't know, Jojo sta just started his Patreon, so if you would like to check him out, um, please do so. He's an amazing artist and he does a lot of stuff um, that easily enabled people like us can buy. <laughs> Next one. Back to Mandy. Can't stay away from Mandy too much. So this is one of the paintings. We are now into the paintings that I have unboxed on my channel. Um, Wanderer should be one of them, but this one too. This is Sleeping Beauty. And this is one of the paintings that a lot of people seem to be confused about what it shows. Um, I know I said during my unboxing, 
um, that this is the prince and that this here is the dragon. And I think not everyone can really see that, but it is, it is the dragon's head. See, the sword and the snout of the dragon. This is his neck, his body. It's a bit hidden in there, but that's what I like about Mandy's paintings. They, they have so much to discover, so many details in them. Um, one of the paintings that I have already completed is the, the Alice in Wonderland one, and it has so many small details hidden throughout um, the painting. It's, it's just, it's, it's something else. So sometimes you have to look at these for a little while and see what develops, but the stuff will come out eventually. <laughs> you have to be a bit patient. So Sleeping Beauty, I think she's easier to discover. She's down here, that's her face, her, her neck, her arm. This is her dress. This is her hair. This is a little easier to, to understand. But the dragon and the little um, prince in the background is also there. <laughs> This is actually um, one I fell in love with right around the time um, I wanted to buy off to Neverland, but it has always gone in and out of stock so quickly. I was never quick enough to get it until, obviously, that point. So, this painting, like many of Mandy's painting, is a 55 by 77. It has round diamonds and it has AB diamonds. There are 46 colors total in this painting and one AB diamond, yeah. The one, three, one, which is in here, so it's probably going to be this light orangey yellow color. And there's a lot of pink and purple. Love me some good pink and purple, you know me by now. <laughs> it's also one of the few paintings that's ha that has quite a bit of green in it, um, so I'm always a fan of that. Next one is The Siren by Mandy. And I am, guys, you're making me do these videos. And yes, I'm, I'm saying you're making me do this right now because this had unforeseen consequences. Um, looking at all these canvases again really gives me a serious case I want of I want to start this now why it is. Um, I'm looking at all these paintings and I really, really want to start them. Um, I have pulled this out of the box and thought, dang, I should have done this one for this month's diamond painting theme of the month. Yeah, <laughs> I know it was on the original plan when I still planned to do more than one. So, hmm, it's too late now. So the siren is... 55 by 73. 73 centimeter painting with AB diamonds. This one only has 33 uh, colors, which is not surprising because you can see that it's pretty much all the blue greens and greens and blues and um, a little bit of gold for her tail. But it's it's pretty much in the family of, of um, water tones. So 33 colors is actually quite a lot. I can see two ABs, white and blue in the legend and um, it is one of those where the mermaid doesn't actually have a face. I know that some people prefer them this way, some people find them super creepy, I don't really have an opinion, I, I like both. Sometimes the faces, if they actually have eyes and a nose and a mouth, can be very creepy as a diamond painting, so I think it's a good choice that she doesn't have a face. Um, as far as, as her diamond painting status is concerned. But anyway, I'm not disturbed by the no face painting, so... Um, yeah, this is another pretty one. I think that was another one planned for the bathroom. It's a bathroom we hardly ever use, so it doesn't get a lot of moisture. I just thought it would be a good way to pretty it up a little bit even though no one ever goes in there unless we want to take an actual bath. 
Well, I guess the cats go in there. That's where the little litter boxes are. <laughs> Taking a poop with a view, guys. <laughs> Six more to go for this video. Hang in there. And yes, I'm telling that to myself as well because, boy, I'm glad when this back malarkey stops. So the next one is tell, no, read me a bad time story. And this one is one of the ones that is so crazy. It is absolutely crazy because it's... I like to call it the Picasso among the, diamond, uh, the, the Mindy Manzano paintings because there's so much going on. And you really, really wonder what is happening here. So it's a bit hard to tell in canvas form, but I think once this is done, you can really look at it and discover stuff. All the little details um, that are in there. There are mermaid tails and faces, and there's this sun in the ocean. And this is this is a really exciting one. And it is... 67 by 50 centimeter round and it also has AB diamonds. So this painting uh, For this point in time has an amazing amount of colors. It has 49 colors. Excuse me <coughs> And there's a lot of dust involved here as well It has 49 colors, so that's a lot for the time we're speaking of here. And this has supposed to be a B? Yeah, oh, it's right there in the middle. 130, that should be some kind of yellow. Is there anyone else? I think that's the only AB that's in there. It's a bit hard to discover um, when they mix the ABs in the middle of the legend. Um, like they used to do sometimes. I wonder why they did that in the beginning, to put it on the top, on the bottom, sometimes in the middle. It's pretty confusing. But it's the only number below 150 I can find right now. So I'm going to claim this has one AB color and it is a yellow. 130. <laughs> yeah, this is, <laughs> this is one of the crazier ones. I'm looking forward to doing this one. Next one, my one and only snack-sized painting I have from Diamond Art Club. Sun Bathing Kitty. And I think the artist is Eve Izzet. Um, the same one who did Sneaky Cat. Also painting I have, which I have completed. It was pre-channel, so there's no video about this um, particular painting except for uh, I did a uh, showed you all my completed diamond paintings thing right at the beginning of the channel. It's a two-parter and Sneaky Cat I think is in the second part somewhere towards the beginning. I finished that at the beginning of 2019 February something. So this is a 32 by 42 centimeter round with AB diamonds. And you can pretty much tell why I have this painting and why I'm happy with the size because this is a super close up of this cute little cat. It didn't have to be much bigger and I was happy with it, so I got it. It has 32 colors and the AB color is blue. It's 138. And most of this background is actually one color. So it's it's two colors, but Nearly all of this section, except for a few beads up here, is all the same color. Also around the ear up there. And then here, this is also all one color. So this is, for those multi-placer lovers out there, this is a really, really, really quick snack as well. Hmm. Maybe I should do a snack. <laughs> See? I want to start this now, Idas. <laughs> Ready for another one that had this? Oh, I should have done it this month reaction from me. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> it 
this is Undersea Dream, I think it is called. Undersea Dreaming. Again, Mandy Manzano. It's very obviously Ariel. And this is a 47 by 78 round with AB diamonds. It's pretty close to the side of, size of Friends of the Maidens, actually. Um, this has 39 colors and I can see two ABs. One is one, two, six, I think, think one, two, one, two, th oh, geez. one, two, six is uh, the lavender. One, four, one is definitely white. So this is, oh, it's such a cute painting. It's really such a cute painting. Her chest is a little weird. I'll be honest with you. It looks a little bit weird. <laughs> But who cares? <laughs> who cares? <laughs> Three more. The next one is the one that always makes me <sighs> happy, sad. It's it's such a it's such a beautiful painting. It makes me smile, but on the other hand, it also always makes me sad. And that is All Dogs Go to Heaven, the painting Mindy made when um, she had to let go of her little dog. It is just a beautiful picture, but also supremely sad. So this is a 52 by 73 round with AB diamonds. It has 31 colors and it has one AB, I think, the white. Uh, the white and it, I think it doesn't have too much of it actually. Yeah, it's, it's all here in the highlights of the clouds, pretty much. And is anything up there with the angel? No, it's all in the clouds and in these uh, little these thingies there. Um, that's where the AB goes, so the angel as such does not have any AB. <sighs> yeah, happy sad. Next one, also a stunner. Next one is, oops, oh, next one is upside down. Sorry about that. Um, next one is Suzu Love by, again, Mandy Manzano. It is a, come on, come here. It is a 47 by 84 centimeter square with a B. We have now reached the square A B paintings. And this is a painting that I actually got for free from Diamond Art Club because I and also, well, mostly Rachel, she pulled me in afterwards. I discovered the issue, but I hadn't reported it yet. And she had reported it because she had already been working on a painting with the new drills. And we reported basically the issue that started last year with the release of the Square AB paintings with the drill quality. And we basically worked with Diamond Art Club for a couple of days to give them all the picture evidence. <laughs> basically, they needed to approach their supplier and say, hey, this is not right, make it right. Um, and as a thank you, they, they offered a free painting from what was then the newest release. And I picked this one because this one, I look at it and I just, it is, it is gorgeous, it is different. It is just, I think it's pretty unique. I mean, Mandy does a lot of artwork, but even with her artwork, I find that this is pretty unique. She is from New Orleans, if I'm not completely mistaken. So she has a whole New Orleans series of paintings and this is one of them. And when I saw that I knew right away, I wanted this. Really need to plan to, to work on this as soon as possible. When I plan out the diamond painting themes for the month in 21, I will make sure this one is on there somewhere because I want to see it completed. Next one 
And you made it to the other end, the last one. And the one sending us on our way today is Firefox by JoJo's Art. This is a 55 by 42 centimeter round with AB diamonds. Um, it has 30 colors and it has one AB, which is once again the white. So this is, is another one. I seem to have a bit of a thing for Jojo's foxes. I think it's just because they are usually b a bit bigger. Um, but I think he is going to turn out quite well too. So this is a nice one. I think, don't, don't hold me to it, but I think it's still available as well. Um, I have not checked before I started making this video which of my paintings are still available and which are not. I know that Diamond Art Club has discontinued paintings in the meantime, so some of what I showed you today might no longer be purchasable. purchasable. Um, but that's just the thing with uh, what's in your stash, I guess, so <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope you like this first part. Um, this was the first 15. The next 15 will be in the next video. I'm going to try to have one of these videos once a week. Um, it depends a little bit on my filming time. These take a bit of time of preparation because I take them out of the box, let them flat out, flatten out, um, and then I have to film and uh, put everything back in the box again. So this is not, not a quick thing to do. But I will try to do once a week until we are done. And maybe, because a few people ask that as well, maybe I will make this into some kind of not regular series, because it seems some of you are also interested to see my uh, cross-stitching fabric in one video, which is not going to happen, but I might split it up in several as well, because boy, oh boy. Um, yeah, that would be a very long video. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope you don't mind that the little assistant decided it was once again a good time to nap through all of the filming, which is what she did. And yeah, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy most of all. Bye guys.